Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and we have more eggs to incubate. Howie went to work and one of the fellows got to talking to Howie about how we do things here and he gave us seven fertile duck eggs. So they incubate as long as turkey eggs. Now I had two turkey eggs in the incubator, the very first two that Ma Kettle laid, and to test them, and one of them was fertile, so Pa Kettle's doing his job. Now, you just heard me say I had chicken eggs in the incubator. Well, my friend had an incubator, and she's not using it, and she had taken it apart to clean it, and when I phoned and asked if I could borrow it. This is how it arrived. So we've kind of got to put it all together. Now it's an older incubator. It looks dirty, but honestly folks, I scrubbed this with a scrub brush and dish soap and rinsed it well. So it also doesn't have, this is an older model. This is the hydrator tray that you put water in, but the rest of it has some holes and stuff in the bottom so I think I'm gonna try something different for it. so anyway let's get this put together okay before we reassemble the egg turner tray and all the elements in that let's get our bottom tray organized now like I said this here has room for water but these have holes and so does this so if for any reason you can't see because there's eggs and an egg turner on top and you can't tell where to put the water, I'm going to try something different. Now I'm going to take some tin foil here. And don't panic when you see me cutting tin foil with scissors. This actually helps sharpen your scissors. I am using heavy duty tin foil. And I'm just going to line the trays that have holes. When I get this the holy parts all covered with tin foil. We'll be back. Okay. You can see what I've done is the ones that have holes I lined with tin foil and I just cut up one of those big sponges you um, use to wash your car and I've cut them thin enough that they can sit in these places where I've laid the tin foil and I can moisten these sponges and I'm not going to have a drip factor. This of course can be filled with water here but these will help maintain the humidity without drippage or spillage. And you want to make sure your sponges are thin enough that they're not resting against your screen where your egg turner is going to lay. Because once you take the, the, the egg turner out the chicks will hatch on here and you don't want them laying against wet sponge. Okay, so that's that. Let's put the egg turner together. Now, let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, I know this is the motor for the egg turner. So let's start with that. Okay, when she took it apart, she's labeled all the, you can't see it, but she's got clear tape on here with, and they're lettered. So that's a good thing. Okay. Okay, this goes like, we're gonna put these all in here. Well, this looks pretty simple. Okay. This goes on like this. Now there's little holes here in each one of these, and I think that would be for cotter pins. But I think what we'll do is we'll just get a piece of florist wire and pin those in just to be safe. There's a little notch here for the cord for the egg turner. This is going to make me crazy. I wonder if this will work. Toothpick in. Break off. Toothpick in. 
break off. That way they can be pulled out. That'll work. Okay, we're going to slip this. This is the piece for the motor. We're going to slip this little black piece in this slot of the yellow thing and then when this turns it will turn the eggs. Make sure that's good and tight. All right, so where's the notch? There's the notch for the cord. And that just sits right down inside there. Voila. Okay, that's that assembled. Here's the lid. And the lid has two windows, of course. Okay, this is pretty beat up, actually. But if it works, it works, right? I mean, who cares what it looks like if it does the job? All right, so here we have... Oh, boy. Um, this is the fan, and I'm assuming by the number of screws we have many, many, many holes here. She has all of these. Well, where's our little light? There's our light. We know where that goes. The light goes in there like this. Okay, let's do the element first, because once we know where the element is, then we can go from there. This is the fan, and I am not sure where this goes. If we match up the holes, this will go right there. Awesome. And if we match up these holes, this will go right there. Plus the wires all meet up here. Okay. So it's just pretty much figuring out where to line up holes. What this, this one is for, this is our temperature adjust for our thermostat. Now we're going to line up these other two. And hopefully, they will go right through. There we go. thermostat in place, our element in place. Now let's get the fan in place. It may have looked like a heck of a mess folks, but thanks to Nat labeling all these wires, all the A's go together, all the B's go together, all the C's go together, the rest is pretty much just lining up holes. Even the dents, there's, there's four dents here, which are just these nut heads that have when it was screwed in, they kind of rested in these divots. So paying attention means we have just about everything in order. wire, the wire that runs it all, goes through the hole that she has labeled wire. And then this little plug goes in holding it there. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. This is our, our thermostat and this has to go on the middle bar that has the wing nut because that's how we regulate the temperature. So, I've got this handy dandy wire stripper. If you don't have a wire stripper, folks, 
just light a, a match or something under here and it will melt it off and I'm going to put these two together and I'm going to put a morette on them. Gotta love morettes. Okay. Okay. There we go. Here is the incubator. Ta-da! Let's just put the windows in. Okay, for the moment, I have it set up here on the wood stove, but there's the light. It is on. This is all plugged in. Nothing has blown up on me, which is a good thing. The egg turner is running. Everything seems to be going. We'll, uh, I'll do an update when I put the eggs in. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, Yay! As far as I know, I did it right. I assembled the incubator. Take care. Bye-bye.